Hello guys, my name is JJ and welcome to the long dark. Now this is a game I love to play. And I'm not very... Eh, I guess I'm... I guess I'm okay. But... It's set in... Canada after a geometric storm. Uh, let's see if I can... Go Okay. I'm trying to find uh no this is not it. Journals Nope, that isn't it. Okay. Let's do... So, Pilgrim, for new experienced players, interested in pensive exploration. Most survival elements seem to be very forgiving. Wildlife and attack must be broken off five active feats. Voyager, for new or experienced players, looking for a balance between exploration and survival. Wildlife is sparse, but can seek you out. Survival elements are challenging, but resources are plentiful. Allows for four active feats. Then there's Stalker for veteran players looking for a punishing, a challenging survival experience. Hostile wildlife is common and will hunt you down. All survival elements tuned to be particularly challenging. Allows for three active feats. An interloper. For expert players looking for the ultimate wilderness survival challenge, you start with most minimal resources and have to craft everything you need to survive. The world becomes more hostile the longer you survive, allow for two active feats. Now I love what uh, in a little bottom corner, you will not be you are not part of Mother Nature's plan and will not and will bear the full force of her wrath. True test of human versus nature. Stalker you demise waits behind every hilltop, shelter, and tree. Only the strong survive. Evil parts hunter and hunted, your struggler's five will eventually lead to mastering the elements. Pilgrim, wander the quiet apocalypse to chronicle passing in the age. This is the poetry of survival. So we're gonna do Voyager. Oh, and feats. Uh you get those after completing challenges. So like I hit new. Helpless rescue. The last person alive you have to know if you only get a signal out. Recover the distress pistol from the summit of Timble of Mountain, fire it from the top of the Desolation Point Lighthouse. So your goal is to uh, get out, obviously, get survived um, different challenges and then when you do you get the feats that you can use to help you survive easier in the main gameplay. So, uh, let's go all the way to one side, because that, so this is Mystery Lake, ideal for new players, a balance between wilderness, and man-made shelters, resources, and wildlife, connects to coastal highway, Pleasant Valley, Forlorn, Muskeg, and Mountain Town. Coastal highway, you can see there's the highway going around this lake thing. For intermediate players, the weather battered coastline rich in shelters and resources, watch out for wildlife, connects to Mystery Lake, Pleasant Valley, and Desolation Point. And then Desolation Point. For intermediate players, several key shelters, plenty of hostile wildlife, and harsh weather conditions to be found around these remnants of one thriving whaling industry, connects to Coastal Highway. Pleasant Valley. For advanced players, a challenging vast mountain wilderness region with a few key shelters originally settled by hardy homesteaders. Connects to Mystery Lake, Coastal Highway, and Timberwolf Mountain. Timberwolf Mountain. 
for advanced players, a desolation and MLF. For advanced players, an isolated alpine region with very few shelters or resources. A true test of wilderness survival skills. Connects to Pleasant Valley. And then Forlorn Muskeg. For advanced players, a frigid open marshland bisected by a railway line. Weak ice and constant winds make this area highly dangerous. Connects Mystery Lake, Broken Railroad, and Mountain Town. And then Broken Railroad. For enemy players, previous seismic activity means this section of the Trans Island Railway line is dramatically interrupted. Be careful you don't become lost in its many twisting routes. Next to Forlorn Muskeg. Mountain Town for new players. Although deep in decline, Milton still offers many sturdy shelters and plentiful wildlife. But if you leave town for the surrounding hills and fields, beware. Connects to Mystery Lake, Forlorn Muskeg, and Hushed River Valley. And then Hushed River Valley. For advanced players, a remote, wind-blown valley known for its sheer cliffs, dense forests, and steep, winding paths. Although devoid of human settlements, it has long been a destination for the area's toughest mountaineers and may still have a few secrets to view. Connects to Mountain Town. Random. Starts in a random region. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're just going to go to Mystery Lake. And we're going to start here. Because this is easiest. Confirm. Uh, let's go mail. Confirm. JJ. U. Tube. Nope. YouTube. Survival. There we go. That's what we're going to call it. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down to the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Key to continue. Let's do this. No one can tell what goes on between the person you were and the person you become. No one can chart the blue and lonely section of hell. There are no maps of the change. You must come out the other side. Stephen King, The Stand. Hmm. Ooh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I don't know. I'm gonna pick up a stick. We're gonna take this other stick. And so I have played this before, so I know a little bit of what stuff to grab. And I see some old man. Old man's beer lichen. A lichen found in the ancient forests of the Pacific Northwest. Take it. And here's some more. This is good for uh, helping make bandages. Um, where the heck am I? I'm gonna head this way. Let's see my sprint bar. There's a bunny rabbit. There's a shelter. Something. I wonder where I am. Deadfall area. How am I doing? Oh my gosh, my temperature is plummeting. Get some more of these. I really need to find. Actually, let me check my. Wow, I am not dressed at all. There is fireplace. I'm going to take the charcoal. Uh, and 
We're gonna survey local area. I am way too cold. I am going to die. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, okay. I'm just gonna keep heading this way. Because... I am. Cold is making my head feel thick. I think... I know where I am. Slightly. I'm correct. There should be a railroad track up ahead. I guess. Maybe not. Yes! Up here. Or, I guess not a railroad track, but something. Oh my gosh. I get so annoyed with how slow you walk in this game. Oh, I'm so cold. Come on. Come on. Hypothermia risk. So cold. Now when we lay down for a bit. No, we're not laying down. If I do that, I will die. Rail tunnel. Yes, this is a, a good At least we're making progress. Now I know where I am. If I can warm up slightly. Yes, give me that. That'll be good. No, I don't want to leave Mystery Lake yet. Because I will die. Let's take some more of these. And I'm just getting a lot of rose hips. Oh, there's a dead person. We can loot their body. For hopefully stuff. Search frozen corpse. Let's go. Hop, hop, hop. I could use Take this. it. Take it. And there's a knife. That's good. Take it. I get it. Where that what 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 what? Uh, that's why I'm so cold. Ooh, there's a feather. Take it. Those are pretty uncommon to find. Okay. I'm probably not going to survive at least this first round. But you know, you'll get to see what this game is kind of like. I hope I can make it to the uh, cabin. I, so I know where I am. If I head straight down, I'll pass by a, a cabin uh, as I follow the railroad. At the end of the railroad, there's a, a dam I can get into that has a whole bunch of supplies. But the cabin is my best bet right now. I think I'm coming up on where it is. If I can get there, I'll warm up and not die of hypothermia. Because uh, that would be bad. Just gotta keep on the lookout for potential supplies as well as wolves and such. Let's keep on 
going. Is this a, oh, that's a rock. Yes, I think it's up here. Just a little bit farther, guy. Come on, you can make it. I believe in you. Let's keep on going. Yeah, there's the rail car if you can see down at the end of the track. That's where the train is. The derailed the train. It's got some good supplies in it. That's not what I want right now. I just want to live. Crap. Stick. Gotta grab that stick as well. Grab that stick. Gotta grab lots of sticks. Because I'm gonna need a fire at some point. Any wolves? Sometimes they're around here. Don't see any, which is good. The heck is that? Okay, let's get inside before I die. Okay, uh, yeah, so this is, I think, where I'm going to end this first episode where we're nice and safe inside, and as you can see down the bottom, my temperature is rising just slightly. I'm no longer at, oh man, I was super close to getting hypothermia. Uh, yeah, so subscribe, share, like this if you want me to keep doing these series. I'm going to have a couple episodes already done. Yeah. Uh, so see you guys next episode. Bye.